Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick, and that is saving a group in a preset. And it's very useful for a particular thing that I like to do using VSTs. So how it works is, you know, you drop in a wavetable, and this little save icon here, you can save that preset. Uh, but if you want to save a group of instruments, it's called a rack, you know, you select the both using shift, and then you group, and then you can save this group as a uh, as a preset and uh there it is save uh, save as preset but there's something that i like to do that you can't put in a rack um, and we're going to do it with vps avenger the reason why is because certain vsts allow you to have multiple uh, channels of audio as an output so i'm going to be doing that i'm going to select two oscillators We'll go one uh, detuned, or not detuned, um, uh, super saw ish uh, unison, then one not. I'm going to have, uh, actually, I'm going to turn off those sends. That'll mess it up. We'll have, uh, turn off those sends. We will have out to effects one for oscillator one, out to effects two for oscillator two. I'll just plop that one in there. There it is. We have appeared. And the output of this won't go to the master, it'll go to auxiliary one. This one will go to auxiliary two. So effectively, we can uh, hit the keys and nothing will come out, which is quite all right. That's totally fine. We need to do some routing. So we'll go uh, insert audio track. We'll name this one. Oops. Box one. And I will uh, go to. Audio from, I'll select that I want audio from VPS Avenger, ba bam, and uh, I'll go from this drop down menu, uh, auxiliary one, and then I will duplicate, rename this one to two, and then this one will be auxiliary two. So when I have this armed to receive MIDI, won't quite work. I actually have to have monitor in. I apologize. There we go. Right, so we have coming in from VPS Avenger. So VPS Avenger is sending two uh, pieces of stereo audio, I guess, and then it's going into these two. So setting this up every time is a major pain in the Botox. <laughs> can't believe I said that. It's a, it's a pain, and uh, it's kind of manual, and you can't, like save this you can't really do this in a rack but what you can do is you can select all that using shift right click and then group and then this is effectively group and i will rename this avenger uh, uh, uh to output chain thing name it whatever you want and if you want to save this what you can do is, well, first you got to make sure you have nothing on it. Uh, you go to user library, and uh, let's make a new folder called uh, uh, starter synth templates, I guess. Name that there. Drag this entire guy into here. Boom. It will save that as a live set, technically. So what you can do is uh, we'll delete that. Say you want to like do that same thing. You want to have absolute flexibility of the outputs of uh, a synth that you're running. Uh, you want to really get down to to um, uh, sound design. Just open that up. Oh wait, sorry. Oops. You drag that to there, and then it will open with the same routing and everything. And um, yeah, I think that's a, a pretty fun workaround. You can also um, group things and make uh, templates. So you can uh, kind of get rid of that. We'll go, I want like a 909 kit, uh, kit. drag that in there. This is the, the magic of uh, groups upon groups. Put an 808 in there. Um, let's see, uh, what's a, what's a, with analog lab. Okay, just get everything that you want to uh, use for a particular genre of music that you like to make. Just put that all in there. S uh, shift, select all, right click, and uh, group that, and then name that. 
techno techno starter and that'll be your techno starter uh preset group thing just drag that in there and then that will save all of uh your your 909 uh kit 808 kit and uh your analog lab or whatever else you're into and then yeah you can just uh build or like not have like a full-on template but have like a, an excellent starting point anyway i've rambled on long enough i hope you enjoyed this video if you found it useful please consider becoming a patron on patreon uh donation like comment subscribe hit that bell icon do whatever you got to do um that means a lot all right guys take care thanks a lot and have a good one